Hey guys, welcome back to another video of SketchUp series. In this video, we will be creating an isometric 3D view of bedroom. So without further ado, let's get started. First create a rectangle. Now extrude it by 0.1 and group it. Now download 101 bit tool extension. It will help in making walls, windows and doors. Now to make the walls, click on this icon, select the thickness and height of the wall. Single click to change the direction of the wall and double click to finish it. Now to create the tools, first create the guidelines with tape measure tool. Draw a rectangle and exclude it to the exterior wall face and create a void. Draw a rectangle and click on this icon and select create frame. Now create the door panel. So door panel is ready. As we are making the interior of this room in the isometric view, so we will remove these two sides. Close this one. Now we will set the camera to parallel projection. In parallel projection, the vertical lines will be parallel to each other. Now let's add furniture to it. I have downloaded them from the 3D warehouse. Now let's rearrange the furniture in our space. So our modeling part is now complete. Let's start adding materials to the scene. Click on this icon to create a new material. Give it a name. Now click OK. Now go to edit. Select this folder icon. And go to your image and select that image which you want for this texture. Now to scale this texture, select the face, right click, texture, position. Now drag the green icon to scale the texture. Let's measure it with the pencil tool. It's a good practice to first check the standard sizes of material on Google. So we have to resize this texture. Now it's looking correct. So, the room looks pretty large, let's decrease this size.
If you don't know how I isolated this object, you can check the video in the I button in the top right corner. Select these faces and use the move tool to drag this door to the right. You can use the arrow keys to lock the axis of the movement. Delete these lines. We have to move this furniture to a little bit right. This looks perfect. We have to adjust the camera. First, let's adjust the side of the wall. So now to update the scene, right click on this scene and select update. Now let's add rest of the materials. Click on this icon and name it as plaster. Plaster folder and this one. This looks a little bit dark for this room. Use this lighter to adjust the color a little bit towards the white. Now let's add wooden material to this frame. Same process. Let's go to wooden wooden folder. Plain wood. This looks good. Always try to work in groups. This will help you signing materials easily. Similar plain wood for the door panel. Let's add the same wooden material to this. We don't need this chandelier. Let's delete this. So now our material part is done. Let's move to the V-ray part. So first we will open the V-ray. Right click in the blank space and select the V-Ray for SketchUp, V-Ray object and the V-Ray light. Now the extensions of V-Ray are here. So first we will select the material. This eyedropper. Now click on V-Ray Asset Editor. I think our material is not selected. Let's select it again. Now here you are wooden material. So give it full reflection and little bit less of glossiness. Because it is a reflective floor. So we will give it a full reflection. Full gloss if we give it a full glossiness, then the floor will be giving the reflection of the nearby objects. So we don't want this. We will give it a little bit of less reflection. Now we will set the render output settings. Open V-Ray Asset Editor. Now go to settings. Under render, decrease the quality to low. And under render output, turn on the safe frame so that you can see the which part of your model will be in the render. Now let's check it. 
so let's take a test render our model is in the center so it is good but we have to fix the lighting so let's stop the render and we will select the rectangular light and let's make a light from the top so this arrow of the light is pointed towards up let's change it towards it down with the scale tool select the center point and enter minus 1 to reverse the side now open vracid editor under light we will turn off the sunlight we will make it invisible As we can see, we have to increase the intensity. So now we will increase the intensity to 50. Now let's check it again. This looks okay. But the sides are white. Let's give them a black color so that it looks like a section color all the sides background is also missing so we will give a color to the background just make a rectangle give it a little bit of thickness and give it a color like this now click on scene to get back to our saved scene now take a test render pretty good but it's very dark now Let's decrease a little bit of darkness. Select the black material and change its color to a little bit toward the white side and give it a reflection and decrease the glossiness. So it also looks like a material. And we can increase the intensity of light. Now let's take a test render. Nice. So now we will edit all the materials similarly, giving every material a little bit of reflection and glossiness because each and every material has a little bit of reflection. Now for the final render we will increase the quality and size of the render all right guys i hope you find this video useful if you want to learn more please do like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the future videos this is iArchitect signing off